Welcome to the channel, guys. Today, we're delving into the heart of the Pacific Northwest as we explore the vibrant and evergreen city of Seattle. But what makes this travel guide truly special is that it's curated by a local, someone who knows the city's hidden gems and insider tips like the back of their hand. So whether you're planning a visit or simply looking to rediscover the Emerald City, join us on this journey as we unveil the 10 best things to see in Seattle for 2023. From iconic landmarks to off-the-beaten-path treasures, we've got you covered. Let's dive right in. Starting with number one, Space Needle. The Space Needle, a Seattle, Washington landmark, is an iconic observation tower located in the Lower Queen Anne neighborhood. Built for the 1962 World's Fair, it drew over 2.3 million visitors, becoming a symbol of the city. This architectural wonder once stood as the tallest structure west of the Mississippi River at 605 feet, boasting a robust design capable of withstanding winds up to 200 miles per hour and earthquakes up to a magnitude of 9.0. Visitors can swiftly ascend using elevators, a 41-second journey, and in 1999, it earned the esteemed title of a historic landmark from the city's Landmarks Preservation Board. Let's move on to number two. Waterfront Piers, Seattle's central waterfront, hugging Elliott Bay's shores, is the vibrant core of the city. Stretching from Pioneer Square through downtown Seattle and Belltown, it ends at Broad Street, home to the Olympic Sculpture Park. Once a maritime hub, it transformed in the 1960s due to a container port's construction, becoming a mix of recreation and retail. Explore century-old piers turned into shops and restaurants, parks, a Ferris wheel, an aquarium, and an overwater hotel. Amid its evolution, vital docks managed by the Port of Seattle remain, including a bustling cruise terminal, essential ferry terminals, and a functional fireboat dock. Number three on our list is Pike Place Market. Pike Place Market in Seattle has thrived as a commerce hub since 1907, making it one of the USA's oldest farmers markets. Nestled by Elliott Bay, it's a top tourist attraction, drawing over 10 million visitors yearly. The market hosts small farmers, artisans, and diverse vendors, defining downtown Seattle's western edge from Pike to Virginia Street. Its unique layout utilizes the hilly terrain, offering lower levels with antique shops, restaurants, and more. While above street level, you'll find lively fishmongers, fresh produce stands, and craft stalls. Bringing us to number four, Bainbridge Island Ferry. The Seattle Bainbridge Ferry Route is a vital waterway connection that spans Puget Sound, linking the city of Seattle with Bainbridge Island, Washington. Initially named the Seattle Winslow Ferry, it underwent a name change when the city of Winslow encompassed the entire island. Since 1951, the exclusive operators of this route have been the vessels of the Washington State Ferry System, the largest ferry system in the United States. Stretching over 8.6 miles, this route encompasses terminals at Coleman Dock in downtown Seattle and on Bainbridge Island, specifically at Winslow. At number five, we have Fremont Troll. The Fremont Troll, also known as the Troll or the Troll Under the Bridge, is a mesmerizing public sculpture located in Seattle's Fremont neighborhood. This colossal mixed media masterpiece resides beneath the northern span of the George Washington Memorial Bridge at the intersection of North 36th Street and Troll Avenue North. What sets this sculpture apart is its portrayal of the troll gripping a real Volkswagen Beetle, as if it plucked it from the road above, complete with a California license plate. In the past, the car held a time capsule, including a plaster bust of Elvis Presley, which was regrettably stolen during an act of vandalism. Let's move on to number six, Cary Park. Cary Park, perched on the southern incline of Queen Anne Hill in Seattle, Washington, is a quaint public park and lookout point. This charming park, situated along West Highland Drive, nestled between 2nd Avenue West and 3rd Avenue West, offers a stunning vantage point. It's renowned for providing some of the most iconic vistas of Seattle's cityscape. From this viewpoint, visitors can relish panoramic views that prominently showcase the Space Needle as the centerpiece, set against the backdrop of Mount Rainier to the south and the sparkling waters of Elliott Bay to the west. It's a beloved location for capturing the essence of Seattle's urban beauty. 
Number seven on our list is Museum of Pop Culture. The Museum of Pop Culture, or MOPOP, is a Seattle-based nonprofit institution founded by Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen in 2000. Originally known as the Experience Music Project, it has since evolved into a dynamic hub celebrating contemporary popular culture. MOPOP's diverse exhibitions, with 17 touring both nationally and internationally, showcase its dedication to cultural exploration. The museum, formerly named the Experience Music Project and Science Fiction Museum and Hall of Fame, is renowned for public programs like Sound Off and the Pop Conference, fostering support for young musicians and bringing together cultural enthusiasts. Bringing us to number eight, Amazon Spheres. The Amazon Spheres, designed by NBBJ and Site Workshop, are three distinctive glass conservatories on the Amazon headquarters campus in Seattle. These domes, resembling pentagonal hexacontahedrons, serve as both a workspace and relaxation area for Amazon staff. Hosting 40,000 plants, meeting spaces, and retail outlets, the spheres range from three to four stories in height and stand adjacent to the Day One building on Lenora Street. While primarily for Amazon employees, they offer public access through weekly tours and a ground floor exhibit. At number nine, we have Gas Works Park. Gas Works Park is a 19.1 acre public park situated in Seattle, Washington, USA. It occupies the grounds of the former Seattle Gas Light Company gasification plant and can be found on the northern edge of Lake Union at the southern boundary of the Wallingford neighborhood. This park gained recognition when it was added to the National Register of Historic Places on January 2, 2013, a recognition that came more than 10 years after its initial nomination. Last but not least we have Woodland Park Zoo. The Woodland Park Zoo, situated in the Finney Ridge neighborhood of Seattle, Washington, is not only a zoological garden, but also a dedicated wildlife conservation organization. With a remarkable track record, the zoo has earned more than 65 awards spanning various categories. In 2019, it welcomed approximately 1.4 million visitors from both domestic and international origins, further cementing its status as a significant destination for wildlife enthusiasts and conservation supporters alike. Thank you so much for joining us on this exciting journey through Seattle, the Emerald City. We hope you've enjoyed discovering the top 10 must-see attractions from a local's perspective in this 2023 travel guide. If you found this video helpful and inspiring, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more travel tips, guides, and hidden gems from around the world. And also hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the latest updates. If you have any questions or want to share your own Seattle experiences, please leave a comment below. Safe travels, and we will see you in the next adventure. Take care.